Hey there everyone, it's your Naked Fall Twiller, and in this video we're going to talk about Minerva's next inventory, which runs from December 26th through December 28th. And just in case you're new to Fallout 76 and wondering who the heck Minerva just might be, well she is a traveling vendor that goes from one location to the next, trading her plans for gold bullion at 25% off the normal gold bullion price that other vendors sell them for. And in some cases you can save quite a bit of gold bullion by using Minerva. Also if you've not completed the Wastelanders quest line, this is another great way for you to be able to get some of those harder to reach or harder to gain plans that you can only obtain through the Wastelanders quest line. Or if you haven't been able to land a particular one through a daily ops which we have several of those in this particular cell. Bethesda at some point will change Minerva's inventory, so if there's something in her inventory right now that's not in this video, or is in this video and is not in Minerva's inventory, it's because they have changed something, and we welcome that. So if you happen to go looking for Minerva between the dates of December 26th through December 28th, you'll find her hanging out with the Raiders at Crater. And as for this week, she's actually got a really skimpy plan list, seven in total. In fact, this might be the least amount of items I've ever seen Cell. Starting us off, she's going to have some camp plans that you can use. First of which is going to be the Enclave Medallion. She's selling that for 750 gold bullion. And the Enclave Medallion is a daily ops item. It's also tradable, or if you want to sell it on your vendor or purchase it off of someone else's vendor, you can do that too. Next, she's going to have the plans for the Wendigo Tube, which is another camp item. She's selling this for 1500 gold bullion. And it too is a daily ops item and is tradable. Rounding out Minerva's camp camp plans, she's going to be selling the plans for the weight bench, which is a really cool plan to have if you haven't already picked it up. Using the weight bench will give you a plus two to your strength for 30 minutes, or if you use buff out before you use the weight bench, it'll actually give you a plus four for one hour. Totally just kidding. Just made that up. It's a plus two for half hour. The weight bench sells for 938 gold bullion, or if you miss it in this sale, you can get it for Mortimer here at Crater for 1250 gold bullion. Next, we're going to be moving over into the the weapon mods, she's going to have the plans for the Hellstorm Missile Launcher Cryo Payload, the Napalm Payload, and the Plasma Payload. All three of those separately sell for 150 gold bullion each. Personally, I've never been big on using a missile launcher, but as of late, I've seen players using the missile launchers against the new Titan and having some good success with it. Finally, finishing out Minerva's inventory for this week, she'll have the plans for the medical malpractice handgun. The medical malpractice is also a daily ops item, and it's also tradable. She sells that for 1,000 gold bullion. This week's dad joke comes from Crossblod8763, who says, What's the most groundbreaking invention of all time? The shovel. And thanks Crossblod for the dad joke. If you've got a dad joke you would like potentially highlight it at the end of one of my videos, then post it down below and we'll see what happens. And if you'd like to take a moment to share down in the comments section, what I want to know is, is Rust anything like Fallout 76? Share your thoughts down below. I'd really like to know what you all think about it. And that's going to wrap it up for me, Minerva, and all the Raiders at Crater. I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday and I'll see you guys really soon in Appalachia. Love you, bye. Becoming a Blood Eagle was one of the best things I ever did. Before we forget, just want to send out a special thanks for all these great people that helped make this video come together. I figured you'd probably say something about me smoking so close to this explosive canister. Don't worry, it's totally...